Hello, family. This is MC Recovery and Relapse Show. Trying to get it started. Happy National Smoothie Day. Today is uh, June the 20th, National Smoothie Day. And today, because it's one of them days where you make the smoothie. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. Also, I'm going to make a mustard green smoothie with mustard green. And I forgot to mention this trick that I do, does to uh, keep my bananas ripe in case I buy too many. I put aluminum foil right on the tip. So like I might buy them green because I might buy like four or five of them and then you know put some right in the back, background. So the first thing we're going to start this off with is the bananas. The, the pistachio. So when you want your Banana, I do things like this. I put them on there like this, and I also have one in the wakes. See, I bought these bananas about three or four days ago. You see? And it stays ripe. So, you know, we're going to start this off with a couple of bananas for a National Smoothie Day. And don't forget, to subscribe. Bananas have pistachium and stuff depending on what color the bananas are. See? And just in case y'all did forget, let me give you a brief photo of the banana icon right there. The different flavors, which is ripest, which which banana. Now, let's get back to the quick show. And uh, another trick I learned, learned the other day, but I've also been doing it. I just took these strawberries from out of the freezer. I bought them yesterday. Normally, I would buy like two on sale, put some in a Ziploc bag to, to preserve them for a real, real good while. The preferably Ziploc bags I like using is these blue ones. See? Because of the life expectancy of how your strawberries will last long in case you do put them in the fridge. So, I'm gonna make it with bananas, raspberry, Rinse the raspberries out. This is like a case of, you know, I'm gonna put darn there all of them in there. You gotta put some at the bottom. Cut up some greens, some mustard greens. I got some fresh mustard greens. Okay? But let's make a note of what these raspberries have in them. They're high next to the oxygen. The raspberries, see. But what I noticed today is I never seen these. Those color raspberries. Ain't that something? Yellow raspberries? Wow. That tripped me out. I always thought that blueberries were something, but raspberries is like, you know, it, should, it, it helps liver health, helps manage blood sugar, decrease risk of that obesity, decreases risk of fatty, fatty liver, increases blood, blood cells, all kind of stuff, all kind of nutrients. Rich in vitamin A, anti-inflammatory, and have aging benefits to it. Wow. So, and then after that, like I said, I got these mustard greens. So I looked up some of the stuff on mustard greens. Mustard green health benefits. And... And there is it's anti-inflammatory, high in dietary fiber, cancer-fighting properties, reduce 
cholesterol level, rich in rich in folate and omega three, rich in vitamin A, C, and K, promotes cartilage. The heart, the cartilage, well, I don't know how to pronounce that word at the moment, but the cardiovascular system. <laughs> Help. Prevent. Hemoclysin buildups and high in concentration of powerful antioxidants. Promotes detoxification activities in the body. That's what I'm talking about. So, so more bowel movements and things, but well, that's what they're going to be rocking. So let's get this, cutting of this out the way. I always try to cut it up like this. You know, from the tip, grab it, bunch it up, do it like this. I try to get the nice, crispy, crumbly side right on the knife. I even let some of the stems get in there. But then I don't like these little raggedy, real loose, look like they, uh, where it's dying off that and it's too soft, I throw those portions away. So, you know, uh, I wonder should I put some ginger in it, but no, I'm going to put the other baby in it. The garlic. And you know garlic don't play. Oh, I got a raspberry poster over here. Garlic does not play. So, you know, garlic. I have a paper over here on garlic. Garlic benefits. Do you know it kills urinary tract infections, kills kidney infections, kills cancer cells, treats treat acne. So, so what they saying that I can take this garlic and I can probably put it on the acne, and it, and it will treat it. It keeps. And it kills strep throat, kill cold sores, lower cholesterol, strengthen the immune system, and remove heavy metals from the body. So, you know, let's really get this show really on the road, okay? Now, I peel the garlic, I get it up in there. Think about the strawberries. I want to put them in here, but I probably put them in there later. So at this time, I'm just going to do it like this. And what I do, I take off these little brown things. I just throw the garlic in there. I cut me off another pea. And be mindful, should I put the ginger in there? Not just yet, because I got another trick I'm going to do for National Smoothie Day, baby. I'm going to put some of that, uh, that turmeric in it. I haven't did that in a while. Oh. Okay. So, so I'm just over here chilling. I ain't got time for that. And now I think I got a cameraman in the house. So let me hold up. This boy trying to go to the store. Yeah. So what you think about National School Smoothie Day, MC? Come over here. See, this is the reason. Come come over here. This is one of the reasons why I have to turn into, I came from this, and God God brought me this. Say something. And then yeah. maybe later on we might do some push-ups, but he want to go play basketball. So go on to the store, watch our back, watch, watch us on, and, uh, I think I need to put something for my immune system, the garlic. So, for garlic, ginger, and turmeric. I've been hearing a lot of people say stuff about turmeric. Oh, I'm running low. But I like really putting this in soup. I like putting this in soup, man. I put that much in there. Not that much, just a little something, something. Just be doing something. And ginger. I don't have to do ginger. Let's just start with this. I can put this in for another treat. But for National Smoothie Day, I always get a little bit of orange juice to slide up in there. And where's that lemon juice to take that taste out? 
the lime juice or whatever I got. Where is it at? I'll be there in a minute. Well, let's give this up. This is how it looks so far. Try our South Central juicer. Do y'all like that? Put our stuff in the juicer. I'm put a little of this orange juice in there. I only put about that much. I stop like somewhere right there. Put this in the side. Get some alkaline water. Maybe I should put some more. Kale in it. About that much alkaline water. Uh, and what did I do with the rest of the raspberries? Then I put the rest of the raspberries in there. Thus, mm. this is gonna be good, boy. So be mindful to subscribe and hopefully if I show the molecules it will be coming from this microscope I bought here, okay? <laughs> microscope right here, alright? Until next time. Let's get the juicy. Oh, I gotta figure out where it's the juicy right here. Now I'm gonna get the juice on it. Okay? I'm just dropping shit. Excuse me, but I'm just fine. I'm just dropping shit. And enjoy your happy smoothie day. And here's the coloration of how it comes out. Mm. Hey, it's looking sort of like a sugar ice cream. Minus green. Until next time. That's how it comes out. Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Keep coming back. Subscribe to one of these side. And remember. Recovery is an inside job. Peace.